Okay, hi guys, we're going to contact experiment 1A, which is to determine the density and also specific gravity of fluids. So first thing that you're going to do is, you're going to wear your safety gloves to conduct this experiment because you're going to handle with chemicals. And okay, now I shall show you what you have to do with this measuring cylinder and also the density bottle. First thing is, you have to take the empty uh, measuring cylinder and you have to weigh. Okay, let's follow me. Reset. Okay, wait until it appears zero, zero. Okay, now. Okay, wait until it, uh, the values has been constant. Okay, 50.81. Take it and then you have to uh, write it in a table form the values that you have been measured. Back, back to your place. Okay, and now. I'm gonna use water. Actually, you can uh, uh, three types of uh, fluids that you have to use for this experiment, which is soap, oil, and also water. But I'll just show you with so uh, with water first. Then you have to repeat the experiments using this oil and soap. Okay. So now fill it up to 25 milliliter. It depends on you what type. I mean, what measurement and then you're gonna take. I took 25 milliliter because it's easy because this measuring unit is, is the 25 milliliter measuring unit. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, perfect too. Okay, take this and then you have to wait. Follow me, guys. Give me a As I said previously, we set this back. Then, once you see it, zero, zero. Okay, wait this. Okay, this is the mass of the measuring cylinder and also the fluid in it, which is the water. Okay, 74.66 gram. Okay, take the values and tabulate that. So once you have tabulated that, you have to find your mass, uh, your mass of your fluid, which is you have to minus your mass of the measuring cylinder and the uh, the fluid with minus with the, the empty measuring cylinder you form. Okay. After doing that, you have to conduct the experiment using the density bottle. Okay. Now you have to measure how, as I have measured the measuring cylinder, the, you have to measure the empty uh, density bottle. After that, okay, I don't want to show the steps again because you know right how to measure it. As I've said previously, so you take the water again, you fill it up. Okay, just fill it up a bit enough until here. Until here enough. Because once you use the stopper, it's like it's gonna the some of the fluid's gonna flow out. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so this is 25 milliliter. Okay? So you measure it again on the weighing balance and you get the measurement, then put in the values and then you have to calculate the density and also the specific gravity. So that's all from me. Thank you. We are doing experiment number one to find the properties of fluid and this is experiment 1B which is to find the principle and usage of hydrometer. We are carrying out this experiment with three types of fluid which are water, oil and also liquid soap. So, how to conduct the experiment? First, we are, we are given various types of hydrometer with different readings. So, we have to take one hydrometer and put it inside the liquid and wait until it becomes stable. So, now we'll see. This thing, it's sink inside the liquid. So, it is not the correct hydrometer. We'll try with different hydrometer. We have to wait until the hydrometer becomes stable. This hydrometer is floating above the liquid, so we cannot take reading from this hydrometer. So this, using this hydrometer, we can, we are able to take the reading. The hydrometer reading shows 0 0.997. We have to wait until it becomes stable. So 
So this is the correct hydrometer. We'll repeat the experiment with different types of fluids, oil, and also liquid. You need a the reading for the oil is 0.912. We can see the reading from the hydrometer at this point. And the reading for the liquid soap is 1.042. Okay, hi. So for experiment 1C, we'll be finding the properties of mixture, which is the mixture of acetone and water, and also mixture of methanol and water. So for this round of experiment, there will be three kinds of experiment. For the first one is the conventional weighing method. The second one is the density water. And finally is the hydrometer. So for the values, we'll be taking the concentration of water to be at the interval of 25%, starting from 100% of water, 75% of water, 50%, 25%, and finally 0% of water, and vice versa for the mixture. Okay, so for this experiment, I'll be showing the conventional weighing method for 100% of water. So you just put the cylindrical tube full with water and take the weighing scale and minus with the initial weight of the cylindrical tube. Next, the second part will be the density bottle. So for the density bottle, we fill up the density bottle with 100% water and we put it on the scale as well. Remember to recalibrate to zero before using the scale. Okay, we'll be taking the value of the weighing scale and we'll minus the initial weight of the density bottle to find the density of the mixture which is 100% water and finally is the hydrometer reading so for the hydrometer we just put the hydrometer inside the cylindrical tube until it is stabilized and we'll take the reading of the hydrometer which is around 1 which is around 1 okay so for the experiment, you just repeat the experiment for the mixture of 0 to 100% of the methanol and also ethanol acetone content. Thank you.